Hi guys, it's Debbie and I'm going to attempt to do a large 16 by 20. They don't seem large until you're about to pour paints on it and it gets pretty large when you don't have enough paints. So I'm going to pour um, two cups full. I'm going to try to pour them similar in hopes that, uh, you know, I don't want the sides too different. So that is the, the goal. And um, Try to make some room to bring you down here. So I have a lot of paints all over this table here. Perfect. Okay. Get my paper towels out of the way. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see most of this. Because I'm usually working with these smaller ones. Alright, maybe we should come down a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Um all right, this pour cup has a little bit left over from the last time. I guess we'll start with that one. And I'm going to do a lot of red on this one. And yellow. And um, since we have a lot of light colors, we're going to mix in a little bit of black. Oh, and the last time the black showed up all over the place. But I got to tell you, as it's drying over there, I don't see so much black. So, and I'm, I've been loving this. Uh, <laughs> where'd it go? Oh, that is Crate Attacks airbrush paint. If you watched the previous videos, I was telling you how how you barely have to mix it up. You can add a little silicone to it, and it's pretty much ready to go if you don't like the mixing. Anyways, this sparkly silver, I feel, is very pretty. I don't know if they still make it, but it's Martha Stewart glitter. It's for your walls. I bought it for, I was making something on my kitchen wall, and it turned out terrible. So, um, I'm going to put quite a bit in there because I kind of want it to show up. So now I got my main colors in that I want it to be. Red. Mm. Did we put yellow in it? I don't think we did. I'm remixing it a little bit because some of these seem to um, thicken up if they sit too long. Alright, what goes good with that? I don't know. This is some more of the Crate of Text. It's a violet color. and kind of low. I'm not going to mix any more up. I'm just going to put a little bit of, we'll try a little bit of blue in there. And since I wanted the main color to be white or red, oh, you know what? Let's go back in with the white right now. And we'll top that one off with a little bit of red. This one's pretty full. Okay, so this one's going to sit for just a second. Now, I'm going to have to pour them on differently. One will be just dumped over, and the other one's going to dump over with the canvas. So, let's see how that goes. Okay, can you see that? It's just, it's a dried up old pour cup. <laughs> I go through a lot of cups lately. I thought, why? If they're dried up, I might as well reuse it, right? So... Nothing will come off onto this one. It shouldn't. Okay, I'm going to use some more black on that. Ooh, came out kind of chunky-like. That black is pretty strong. I had to put a little blue in there. Maybe we better go with a lot of white on this one. It's a cool thing about this painting, though. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, this one's going to need... I'm going to pour the rest of this yellow in there. Okay, so that's the end of the, what is it called? 
Create a tax, create a tax that I think I'm going to be using. No, I did mix up some green tonight, and I never did use that, but I can't do it now because I want both sides to match. I'm going to put a little touch more red in and just a little bit more white, and that should be plenty. <laughs> we'll see, right? I'm going to hope it's plenty. Okay. All right. Move my garbage away from me. All right. So I'm going to pour, flip over the big full one, I believe, first. Ooh, let's see. I was having a hard time finding a board that would all fit on. All right. See what are we gonna get here? I think to, in order to make a match, what I'm gonna do is pour around the edges. I think that's what I'll do, and then we'll mix. Especially the corners. Whoops. Next time I gotta make sure I have more room on this table. Alright, so I can see a lot of silver coming out over here. I don't know. Can you see this side? Let me see. A little bit. You know, I'll show it to you in a few minutes. Wait a minute. Before I put too much on the edges, let's um move this around a little bit. Remember, I always tell you, as you're moving this, you've got to think about how you want the end result to look. So, so if you see something cool happening that you like and you don't want to lose it, then drain it off on the opposite side. See, I kind of like, I kind of like what's going on right here. This I could do without, but, <laughs> but now... Cells are popping forth on this. And, all right, let's see. Okay, what I told you I liked is gone. <laughs> this is full. Must be all the sparkly stuff came out over here. So, um, Looks like this one, the last one I'm pouring in, it didn't have a lot of red in it. Looks like it's mostly um, the blues. Maybe I didn't pour much red in there. a little bit. Let's get you back over here. I'm not sure what this big of a painting. I'm hoping you're seeing it all. Okay, guys. Let's see. What do we want to do now? So now, now that I got the edges all done, now all I'm doing is trying to decide what do I want to do to this to make it a better painting and um, than it is as it sits right now. Do I want to move something? Because you're not painting with brushes, remember, because that's the one thing. If you're painting with brushes, you go back in, but we're painting by moving, dumping and moving. So um, I need a little corner thing to help me get a couple of corners. I'm kind of liking this, so I think I might not move it too much more. I'm, but here we go. Something to get the edges real. The sedge over here needs that.
I'm going to need a bigger thing to paint on. If I'm going to do these big ones like this. Yeah, guys, I'm kind of liking this. I hate to move it too much and lose too much of what I got going on, but... Um, if you could see this one corner over here, it's got a lot happening. I poured a little bit off accidentally, but... Alright, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to leave this one alone. Um... Yeah. Yep, I think I am. I think I'm done with this this one for now. Um, I could hit it with the torch. Actually, the heat gun. Let me turn it on and just see what happens. Sometimes nothing happens. It's got a lot going on without that. It really doesn't need it. Um... So, I'm waiting for it to heat up. Okay. There's like the test on my hand a little bit. Just kind of hoping a little bit more red would pop out over here so it would blend in from there to here. There's a lot of changes going on in here though. Can you see that? Hmm. A, lot of, a lot of bubbles came up there, just um, a little pop, so actually what's happened is it's, it's releasing the lower paints are coming up and popping through. And, uh, sometimes you can get it too busy, which that can easily happen right now, um, so I want to leave it alone because I think it's got plenty, if not too many now cells going on. In fact, I kind of wish it would have stopped a little bit ago. Alright guys, I want to tell you thanks for watching.